you you were with him a lot before the bubble, right? You guys lived together. Yeah, we we were. With, I stayed hit stay with him for like three three months. Yeah. Like, Too first much. of all, before we get on to Kemba and, and the health issues, which I want to ask you about, like, okay, what was that like? Because Kemba doesn't say much. You oh, don't yeah. stop. Like, I, like, I don't know. I don't say much when I'm relaxed. So, like, when I'm in my – I typically, like, you can ask anyone. When I'm in my apartment or when I'm I'm just chill. honestly lazy, I'm a different person. I'm social in social settings. And then when I'm – I'm pretty much an introvert when I'm on my own. So, okay. uh, Kemba and I worked out really well because, like, every now and again, we come down, may play video games, may sit down, play trouble, cards, or whatever. And then outside of that, we're kind of just kind of living life and doing our own thing. So, uh He's a group, one of my close close friends on the team, closest friends on the team, and um, definitely one of the guys I'm thankful for. He's my OG. Elite level person. Elite level yeah. person, Kemba. Always has been. I've known him since he was in AAU ball. Um, how, how healthy was he in the bubble last year? Could you tell? Did you talk to him about it? Obviously, right now, uh, we talked to Brad last week, and, and he pretty much said without saying it that he's probably not going to be ready or he doesn't think he's going to be ready maybe for the start of the season. So – how hard is this watching Kemba in the bubble, not being probably a hundred percent and still kind of getting over this, this knee issue. Honestly, it shows his heart. It shows like for all the fans that were crushing them and stuff like that. Like I just never really understand that because um, for one, the type of person he is and for two, the type of player that he, he has shown that he has beat, he stepped up in games where we needed him to, but um, you definitely can, can like as Brad was basically saying, like you can definitely tell he may miss a couple, couple, a little bit of time. But um, I know that he's a fighter. I know he's gonna uh, get back to who he is and show, show, prove the world of why he was considered one of the top point guards in the league, if not like arguably one of the top, top three or four. So um, I'm just super, super stoked for him and and his, his process and excited to have him back. But I know that when we were in the bubble, like. We had to step up around him, and it wasn't it wasn't just it wasn't Kimball's fault. It wasn't anybody's fault. One individually, like we had got guys who were banged up. Gordon had his ankle thing, uh, but that can't discredit the Miami team. They did beat us, and um, they're definitely a, a talented group of young young players. Yeah.